Hi, I'm Chris Sikora. Uh, today we're going to look at something a little unusual for my page. Typically everything has to deal with CAD, whether it be SolidWorks, Creo, Inventor, whatever. Um, this one actually is uh, more based on hardware and just kind of for fun. Um, anyhow, I wanted to talk about the computer that I'm currently using. You might have seen my other my graphics card swap out, which is H1. Uh, the video is H1. And I uh, swapped out a quadro card or put in a quadro card into an old system. Now, the system I'm running today is actually a newer system. This is one I built just over the summer, and I'm using CPU ID to detect it. And as you can see here, I'm running a Ryzen 9 3950X. And I've shown this in some of my other videos as well, 16 cores, 32 threads. They actually have a newer version out of, I recall, 5950X, which is considerably faster. Um, now, as far as memory, I've only got 16 gigabytes of dual channel DDR4. And the Quadro M4000, and I just got this through eBay, picked this up. Um, they vary on the bids. You can see they're anywhere from thousand dollars to um, i actually got this one because it has a port one of the four ports uh, dp ports was out and so i got it for 150 bucks you're not always good at it that's the lowest price i've seen and i really search on ebay so you can sometimes find really good deals but the m4000 is a uh, card that came out some time ago i want to say it was 20 mid 2015 and uh, the m stands for maxwell that's the the chip that was uh, NVIDIA was developing at the time. Now they're on the P for Pascal's uh, chip, which is considerably faster. If I recall correctly, this one when benchmarked on uh, CPU benchmarking, uh, anyhow, it came out to something like uh, 6,500. And uh, is it, if you've watched my past video, anything above, above 12,000 is really good, a pretty decent gaming card. Uh, but this isn't really meant for gaming, but we're going to have a little fun with Cyberpunk today and look at it. Now, I do have uh, the bench tools. You don't really need to see it. It, it benches out the same. Uh, as you can see here, if I bench it really quick, it comes out to exactly or around about what the reference processor is here. And here we can see the CPU multi-threaded as well as the single thread. And if you've watched my videos, on CAD, sometimes I'll show this, but I'm going to go ahead and kill that. You can see it's almost identical to what we see there. All right, now I have SolidWorks running as well. Um, this is just a pseudo board we use for uh, testing CPUs and things like that, but there's nothing to this. This is a super prismatic square shape. There's nothing uh, difficult for it to rotate, but we do have the real view graphics, which if you have a standard card, a any sort of gaming card, this is about the best you're going to get unless you go into the configurations and change it. You just type in here config, and I don't recommend that. I've tinkered with that over the years. Uh, it's, it's not a sustainable type of deal. Some people say it works great all the time, but hey, if you're a gamer, that's fine. But if you're actually needed to use this computer for real work, then you probably don't want that to do that or adjust that. You could also screw things up if you don't know what you're doing inside there. So I don't recommend doing that. All right, so uh, there we have SolidWorks 2020. I'm just gonna close that out. Let's take a look here at Cyberpunk 2077. All right, and as we can see here, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this and we're looking at the date is actually 12, 25, 20. So whatever release they're on there, or the hot fix is right there, tells you. Okay, and I've seen this occur before, and I'm not sure if this is one of those glitches, but I'm gonna try and kill this and restart it. Funny, I just had it running a moment ago before I turned on the, uh, the record. So I wonder if that is having an adverse effect here. Let's try it again. So 
So here we could actually see, uh, I got into the interface. I actually had to use Microsoft's uh, software and then later on plug this into Camtasia. But here I'm just uh, showing some of the graphics settings. In this case, I had the quick preset to high and some things were set to medium and high. Uh, I had been tinkering with this for the past couple weeks since this game came out to try and find uh, a decent setting. And so with the video, you can see 1366 by 768 seems to work really well with this particular card. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and up it to 1080, and you can see the clarity improves. And uh, anything beyond that, I, it, this card just isn't going to be able to handle it. So when you see here, when I resume, it's a little choppy. Now the frames per second, I didn't have that up there to, to show it, but it's got to be like, at some, some points, it looks like it's about 20 frames per second, if not lower. Uh, it's not bad. It looks pretty decent. Um, I shouldn't say it's not bad. It, I wouldn't want to play this game at this setting. But I did want to show some of the uh, things here. Now also I would read that if you adjust the number of... Oh, here we go. I um, went, ahead, went back to 1366 by 768. And it's a little bit on the fuzzy side. But it's vastly improved Absolutely. as far as frame per no, second. No, Again, I don't know what frame per second are on here. Um, they might be 30 for all I know. But still, it's it's playable at this point. It looks good. A little on the fuzzy side, though. And there are some other settings. You could adjust how many people, like if you want the low or high volumes of uh, people out on the streets. That, from what I read, helps and I think in this video I actually end up testing that out as you're going to see probably in a, a minute here. But the Quadro card does a pretty decent job on the lower resolutions. It's not, not outstanding, not as good as a gaming card. Now the fastest card I do have is actually a GTX 1080 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And that one definitely plays a lot better at this resolution. I should say at uh, 1080. It does not play well though at 4K resolution. So I did try it on that. And maybe I might make a video on that too, but I don't know if there's much point. There's a lot of videos with those types of cards on there. So you could always look them up just on YouTube here. Here you can see the crowd density. It's under the gameplay performance and I set it to high and resume and it still uh, doesn't seem to really slow it down much here, because as you know, as I increased it, but it adds these little uh, additional entities out there, which is really pretty cool. So all in all, the Quadro M4000 is a pretty decent card uh, if you're looking to do CAD, but for gaming, uh, you know, again, like gaming, this is one of the most intense games out there currently. Uh, you couldn't, you can't play it beyond. 1080 without serious issue and that's it